This is John, guys. Uh, guys, I'm trying to keep my videos under 15 minutes, so if I talk fast, I apologize. Trump declared national emergency today to build a border wall, setting up a massive uh, legal fight. I'm sure y'all seen this. President Donald Trump says he signed a national emergency declaration to build his proposed border wall much faster than would otherwise be able to. The, the action which the president has threatened for weeks, has already sparked backlash from both Democrats and Republicans. Trump will likely face legal challenges and legislation efforts to block the declaration. Uh, Nancy Pelosi and already saying the next president that comes in could uh, file a national, declare a national emergency and take away people's guns. Um, so they're having a fight over that. And let's get one thing clear. The wall is not to keep people out. It's to keep us in So for what's upcoming. You know, you've seen the helicopters in Los Angeles. They're preparing for martial law or something, guys. And uh, FEMA camps, they've already got them already. And a lot of them is manned with nobody there. The Walmarts are converting over to FEMA camps. They've got 30,000 guillotine machines ready, stored, or maybe even 60,000, I've heard. I'm going to go ahead and start these videos. Because I've got to keep my videos shorter. Because they're making it very hard to download them if you're over 15 minutes special. Pete Martino from Epson. I'm a retired colonel in the Marine Corps. I was the Ministry of Defense Coordinator. My job was to man, train, and equip the Iraqi Army in Al Anbar, Najaf, Karbala, and Northern Lapita provinces. And I'll tell you right now, Homeland Security would kick their butts in a week. What's happening here is we're building a domestic military because it's unlawful or unconstitutional to use American troops on American soil. The way we do things in the military is called task organization. You take a command and then you attach units to it in order to accomplish the mission. Homeland Security, what they're trying to do is use standardized vehicles, standardized equipment. I saw a picture of the Boston Globe during the marathon bombing where two officers they both had identical helmets, flak jackets, weapons, everything I wore in Iraq, only it was all blue. The officer on one side had a big patch on his back that said Massachusetts State Police. Another officer next to him, his patch said Boston Police. Let's not kid about it. We're building a domestic army and we're shrinking the military because the government is afraid of its own citizens. The last time more than 10 terrorists were in the same place at one time was September 11th, and all these vehicles in the world wouldn't have prevented it, nor would it have helped anybody. We're building an army over here, and I can't believe that people aren't seeing it. Is everybody blind? I don't talk about Yeah, and if you ain't saved, if you ain't got the Lord Jesus Christ, I recommend you get saved right now, because Jesus is getting ready to come back for the rapture of his people, and if you're not right, you're going to be left behind for the seven years, and it's going to be hell on earth for seven years. And then if you die during that time, other than, you know, if you uh, refuse the mark of the beast and don't don't worship the beast or his image and you don't take the mark of the beast and you keep saying you love Jesus and you will you refuse to do to worship the beast or his image and you, you refuse the mark of the beast and you tell them you love Jesus and they cut your head off for it, then you'll be uh, wake up in paradise in heaven if you're left behind and you, you, you give your life or even before that happens, if you give your life for the Lord and you refuse the mark of the beast and you refuse to worship the beast, and you tell them you love Jesus, you'll be uh, rewarded in heaven by being waking up in heaven, heaven in the Lord's arms. And uh, so, but if you get killed other than that, uh, I would, uh, there's a good chance you could end up in hell if you're left behind. So please don't be left behind. Please make sure you go in the rapture or get saved. If you ain't saved, uh, first repent of your sins to Jesus. Ask Jesus to forgive you and of your sins and wash away your sins with his precious blood. And ask him to save you and be your, tell him you want him to be your Lord and your Savior, your Master and your God, your Lord and Savior, Jesus. And uh, if you're everybody, I don't care if you're saved or ain't saved, I don't care if you thank your mother, Teresa. We all need to be repenting of our sins when we sin. We all do. Repent, repent, repent. I can't stress enough. We all need to be repenting. Let me go ahead and start the next video. Please get right with Jesus so you can go in the rapture. It'll be, you'll be, it'll be amazing be awesome to be to go with jesus in the rapture if you're left behind it will not be good it'll be the opposite it'll be horrible worse than your worst nightmare for seven years if you make it through it and if you don't end up in hell you know and get killed and end up in hell or something that'd be horrible so please get right with jesus so you can go in the rapture guys yeah. 
Remember we talked about the X-Files Season 10 premiere, The Takeover of America, and as we've talked about the militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by FEMA with no stated purpose, the corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and healthcare, even the military, and clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, and sicken and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And they're literally putting the truth right in front of you on TV on the X-Files season 10 premiere, which once again, I will link in the description box below because they've already done this via what? Those executive orders that we just showed you. And then it says here that what? It will probably start on a Friday. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. Well, haven't they been doing tests about that? And didn't Wells Fargo go down recently? last week too around the same time around a Friday too and it wasn't just Wells Fargo what are they preparing for now again it could happen at any given now this guy here talking I don't necessarily agree with a lot of things he says but I do agree with some things he says but a lot of things I really disagree with what he says but but it, but some of his videos I do have to say he does have some good content and some of his videos that, that I do agree with some of the things he says though so that's why I decided to use him for this part point at any given time but it's important that you understand this and then like the show also goes on to talk about that what digital money will disappear they can just steal your money and we've talked about this with what bail ends because when the banks no longer can give out your money now what are you going to do just as we've talked about with the NDAA National Defense Authorization Act the funding of these FEMA camps and then what followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out out major grid what the power outage and they're going to blame it on russia or blame it on so-called terrorists or blame it on north korea uh, some things i'm just totally uh, at odds with this guy against but but he does have some good content on some of his videos that i do agree with him on so that's why i decided to use him and i think i was going to start this one a little bit earlier so you'd understand it better but by time constraints i'm going to start a little bit up more hope it still makes sense to you credit right now before i start uh, said to post this video. Actually, I'm going to go to the. Said, feel free to use this video as you please. Just please credit me. Okay, Alex Strezov. So I'm crediting Alex right now. Alex Strezov. Born, American made, Los Angeles. Uh, this is the one who made the video, Alex Strezov. A lot of followers. Uh, to give him credit. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to this video. Now, I noticed everybody's wearing white. So Nancy Pelosi's wearing this staff of power. I go to Dustin Nemos' most recent video, uh, or one of his most recent videos. He explains what this thing is. And now all these people are wearing all white. I, you hardly ever see that. The only time you see a bunch of people all wearing white, they're like the uh, people in charge at the uh, mental facility. Um, you know, maybe in like a rap video, uh, KKK meeting. You don't see this too often, where everybody wears white. And I wasn't sure what the, uh, you know, it's it to be in solidarity for women or what the, I'm not, I'm not sure what, what that is. So anyway, check this out. I watch Pompeo. He starts to look back like, like almost like he knew that they were supposed to do this, or like maybe he heard somebody make a noise. Now, John Barry, I think, is... No, Michael Barden is the one who made this video. But he's talking about the video he uses with the helicopters in Los Angeles. And it, that was made by the guy he mentioned. I can't think of his name now. Sorry about that, guys. I'll start it back. Oh, wait. Okay. This video was made on you uh, February 6th. You weren't supposed to do that. He says you weren't supposed to do that. This this video was made and published on February 6th, guys. This video I'm using right here. Thank you very much. All America. All right. So all those people in white, they're making a big scene. Now, okay. When cult-type people, when the deep state is going to do something, um, 
they signal it. They signal it to the public. They say they have to tell you if they're going to do something evil. They have to tell you what they're going to do, and that uh, goes by their laws of their their cult. The people that are the the satanic type people that follow the uh, satanic laws. I don't know what you would call them. The satanic culture way of life. I believe something's coming down, guys. That this could very well be why they was doing the drills in Los Angeles, the helicopter military drills, getting ready for martial law to come down or anything, or lockdown, military lockdown in the United States, anything. They have to signal, and this has happened to me personally throughout my entire life. I didn't know how this all worked until recently, and um, you know, I could spot it a mile away. You can't watch the Super Bowl without seeing what they're really trying to tell you. Uh, but so many different things. So that's how these people communicate. It's how they communicate with each other, and it's how they communicate with the people that don't even know they're being communicated with. So check this out. Downtown L.A., the day before the State of the Union address, this happens. So you've got one, two, three, four helicopters. All right, so this, this number pops up all the time in my life personally, and I've been noticed it's, it's um, put out there a lot in the cult symbolism, you know, like Jay-Z was on the 444 tour. And, um, you know, I've, I've been waking up at 444 for so long, and uh, my f last four of my phone number ended up being 4444, and, and I just see a lot of that signaling in the uh, Illuminati signal. I don't know what you want to call it, the uh, cult type signaling. These people are always doing this. So, so four black helicopters fly into Wilshire, onto Wilshire Boulevard in downtown Los Angeles. This guy's on the top roof, or up high, um, having a drink, I think, just hanging out, and all of a sudden these helicopters show up, and he pulls out his phone and catches this. So a lot of times in the uh, military and the government, when they're going to do a uh, real-life false flag or mass casualty event, they will do a uh, training exercise like a week before with all of the personnel. Um, and then it seems like the mass casualty event or false flag happens shortly after that. Kind of like the class that I was in, the incident command class uh, the week before 9-11 for mass casualty incident with the, uh, with the image of a plane exploding on my certificate. And then a week later, 9-11 happened. So, you know, this, this type of thing triggers me a little bit. It, uh, it causes me to start to pay attention, not because I'm a paranoid person, but because, you know, I, I was in the military and I worked for the fire department and was involved in mass casualty drills and um, saw real life things happen shortly after we did these drills and it started to become a pattern. So I keep a close eye on these things. So look at these guys. Watch what, what happens here. These guys land. Okay, now they have 16 people in all white suits run out to these helicopters. Four go into each helicopter. Okay. All white again. See the connection? The State of Union or whatever. Okay, watch this. You see these two? There's two. Looks like there's two people right here. Two troops, two whatever. White suits. All right, they're on the skids of the helicopter or they're just like on standing on the side. I don't know, but watch this when they pass this tree. Watch these two guys, or people, when they pass this tree, okay? Okay. Back that up a little bit. Watch that again. <laughs> Same thing here. One guy. Oh, let's go. All right. So, is this was this done in Avid? Was this done in? Uh, uh, 
But anyways, guys, I'll land it right here.